It takes a lot of courage to serve and protect. And it takes even greater act of bravery to say something you see your fellow officers doing something they shouldn't. Tonight's Officer of the Month did exactly that. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Soprato has the details. It was the second testing scandal to rock the Providence Police Department. A test revealed to some officers which put them at a huge advantage for promotion to sergeant. Now only on Eyewitness News, the officer who went to her boss explains why she did it and why she would do it all over again. Police officers say no call is ever routine. For Michelle Garrett, it was what another officer told her on patrol that made the call like none she'd ever been on before. And it was just a couple of us sitting around talking. And somebody relayed some information to me, and, and the information just made me very uncomfortable. The information that a portion of a test used for the promotion of officers to sergeants had been leaked. But when an individual knows what the material is going to be in advance, that would certainly give them a huge advantage. Uh, this is a test that people study 300, 400 hours for. Garrett blew the whistle. She went to a supervisor who alerted Chief Dean Esserman, and an investigation was launched. Her decision to come forward wasn't easy, but Garrett knew it was right. But whenever it's something that involves your peers, it's obviously uncomfortable. You know, these were people that I was friendly with. These are people I respected. It was the second testing scandal to hit the department. The first came to light during former Mayor Vincent Cianci's Operation Plunderdome trial. For upholding the integrity of the force, Garrett was named Officer of the Month by the department and was awarded the Ethical Courage Award, given to just seven people across the country in 11 years by the Institute for Law Enforcement Administration. If it feels uncomfortable to do it, it's probably the right thing, because you know it's not going to be an easy situation. Although coming forward caused her flack and some friendships, Garrett is confident she made the right decision. I was comfortable with my own decision, and that's kind of what I will pass along, is that at the end of the day, you're the one that has to go home and sit at your dinner table with your family, and that's how you feel about yourself. No one was ever disciplined in the scandal Garrett exposed. She's been tapped to teach ethics to Providence Police's next class of recruits. I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.